Local Muslim leaders say their community is hurting after a Hamlin University lecturer showed paintings of the Prophet Muhammad in an art class. This happened last semester, but it's still alive in the headlines as the university's response and the teacher's firing spark a fiery legal drama now. Here's Fox 9's Roche Schmidt. It was an emotional day in this St. Paul ballroom as Minnesota's Muslim community came together to honor the Prophet Muhammad. Our scholars are here talking about honoring the Prophet and why we don't show images of our Prophet. Um, in, it's part of our belief not to show his image. We don't have images of him. We don't worship Prophet Muhammad. This event planned in response to an incident at Hamlin University in October when an adjunct professor says she was eventually let go after showing two paintings of the Prophet Muhammad in a world art course. We always knew that there is a small segment of Muslims that are okay with that, but the overwhelming majority of Muslims are not okay with it at all. And in this particular case, the Muslim student who raised the issue is not okay with it at all. The president of the Muslim Student Association was in the class at the time. I'm here to speak about how our community felt. The school president and administration have given us their support through this fall. The adjunct professor has since filed a lawsuit against the university, arguing that she gave students ample warnings about what she would show. Dr. Erica Lopez Prater says university leaders called her actions Islamophobic, affecting her ability to get a job in the future. After the lawsuit reached our desk last week, Hamlin's president walked back some previous statements, saying, quote, we have determined that our usage of the term Islamophobic was flawed. Islamic art scholars and the National Council on American Islamic Relations have said the academic study of the prophet does not constitute as Islamophobia, but the local care chapter disagrees. We believe that this incident and the act that that individual did is Islamophobic. Uh, we, however, never mentioned that she's a bigot because of that incident. Local Muslim leaders say they now hope conversations and change can come out of this incident. And for all the Muslim students out there, Never, please, never compromise your religion and faith. In St. Paul, Rose Schmidt, Fox 9. And Hamlin University plans to host two major conversations in the coming months centered around academic freedom, student care, and religion. Two